Hey, let me show you how to update the firmware on the Dayton Audio KPX programmer. I'm making this video because I struggled with this thing for two days and it didn't help me that the official Dayton Audio instructions are misleading. Ok, so here's what the KPX programmer does. It is necessary for configuring the DSPs on compatible Dayton Audio Bluetooth amplifiers. Links are in the description in case you want to check them out. But to make the programmer compatible with newer boards, like the KABM215 and the KABM30M, the KPX needs to have its firmware upgraded. That's a fancy word for a piece of software stored on the programmer itself. Without the update, you will only get a KABM not connected error message like I did here. For the firmware update, you will need a USB cable. The KPX board uses a Type-C connector, so you have to use a Type-C cable. The other end can be Type-A or Type-C, whatever you have available on your computer. As long as the cable can carry data, it will work. Some cables that come with power banks cannot carry data, so keep that in mind. Another thing that you need is a Windows PC. As of right now, a Mac version of the software is not available, but if this changes in the future, I will let you know in the comments. A link to the necessary software is in the video description. Be aware that Dayton Audio has two almost identical applications for the process. One is the KABX software and the other is called KABM. The official Dayton Audio instructions tell you to use the KABX software for the update, but in my case that did not work. The software told me that the update was complete, but it still could not talk to the DSP. The solution was to use the KABM software instead, and I assume that's because I want to use the KPX programmer with a KABM series amplifier. I believe that if you have a different amplifier board that uses the KAPX software, you will have to flash the firmware in KAPX. But for the KABM boards, the KABM software seems to be the only one that works. Now let's go through the actual update process. I must point out that when installing the KABM or KAPX software, you will get this beautiful warning message. You have to click over here to get the option to install the software anyway. Once you have the software installed, you can open it. This is what it looks like. For the next step, make sure that the switch on the KPX is set to KABX. Now plug your USB cable into your PC, hold down the button on the KPX programming board and plug the other end of the USB cable into it. You should see a green light flashing and you can release the button now. If it lights up but isn't flashing, unplug the USB cable and try again. Now, in the KABM software, you can click on the Programmer Upgrade button. If the KABM application freezes at this point, I don't have a solution for you. I tried a lot of things, but I never got it working on my personal laptop. Eventually, I tried a different PC and it worked. If you have any guesses as to why it didn't work with my other PC, let me know in the comments. So, if the software works, it will go through a very quick update process. It literally takes a few seconds. After that, if you connect your KPX programmer to a KABM amplifier using this 4-wire cable, it will be recognized by the software. As long as the amplifier board is powered on, of course. In case it's not clear, you don't have to hold down the button anymore when connecting the KPX, unless you want to upgrade the firmware again. And now you can finally start playing with the DSP. Just make sure you save your changes before unplugging the programmer.